Hey Queens and Kings, welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching as well as returning. So today I am giving you guys my show and tell DIYs things that I have made myself off camera for the wedding. Which I'm going to start off with this one here and this is for the Unity calendar. Basically, um, this is going to be the forefront for, for us that you guys will see because I'm going to have someone to record it. Hope all goes well, but yeah. Um, so... Here is just all these items are from the Dollar Tree. Everything is from the Dollar Tree except this long candle here and the bling that's on the candles. But the entire thing is from Dollar Tree. All the flowers, the greenery, everything is from Dollar Tree. I kid you not. The candles, holders, everything is from the Dollar Tree. So what I did do was I had um, purchased some of Dollar Tree styrofoams which this is what is on there. Um, I got the hard styrofoams. I didn't pick up the, the other type ones. I think that was for real flowers. So I didn't purchase those. Um, I picked up two of the green ones, which is the same thing as the white ones is or whatever. It's the same thing. So I have five of them, I believe going down five or six that I glued together. On the bottom of it, I put some popsicle sticks just so therefore the... Um, I could keep them together, don't have to worry about it. it's coming apart later or nothing like that. And on top of the phone, I just glued the um, candle stick sticks there, the tapered candles, which these tapered candle holes does not hold these candles very well. So I have to find another alternative way to keep them in without them falling because if I touch it or whatever, they're going to fall and stuff like that. See, just like that. So that was a prime example. So those don't fit um as properly because if you move it it will fall now all that i did here was just <laughs> with the flowers i just stuck the flowers in but i did went into some type of pattern when i did do them as you can see you see the ones laid out longer so what i did first was put the greenery down this um firm here i placed those all the way around just to bring some more green into it and bring another layer and then I um, stuck some roses down to the bottom and brought those, pulled those out longer. So it's basically like going in steps or whatever going up. And as close as I got to the base of closer to the candle holders here, I start to place them closer in. So they fall down in a layer or whatever because that's what I wanted. I'm just going to go on a table which going to be basically what we going to stand in front of and everything the pastor would be behind this and we this going to be in front of the pastor and me and Dre standing there as you know as in one so yeah but I did do that um like I said at the bottom I put popsicle sticks just to keep it secure together you guys know I will use those popsicle sticks those craft sticks in a minute to do that and then for to hold the bigger candle just to give it a little bit height um this look thing here is also from the Dollar Tree. It's one of the little cups or whatever, little fruit cups or bowls or whatever it is. And I just placed that there because if I did in the candle be down like here, it will it wouldn't be even with those or a little higher or whatever. So all I did just place that on top of it. And just like that. So that is that. Um how many flowers I purchased in all I'm not sure because if you guys remember in the haul that I showed you guys, um, I did show you guys the box of flowers that I purchased from DollarTree.com or whatever. So that was in that package of those flowers. I could not tell you exactly how many flowers I used, but I just filled it up until I got the desired look that I want. So this is how I look all the way around, the whole entire thing all the way around. So I love it. It is gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. I love it. So I'm gonna show you guys the next piece. Okay, Queens and Kings, so here's next what I did, which you guys know. Okay, I did not make the center here. I'm just giving you guys an idea, a look of how I'm gonna start it off for the bridal tables because I have made at least six or seven or eight of these to go down the bridal tables because I have 10 bridesmaids well, nine bridesmaids and one made up honor. So, yeah. But I'm going to have like two tables set up with that fits at least 10 or 12 people to a table or whatever. But this is going to start the base. 
it's going to start it from to work its way out and down for me. But like I said, I made six, I think six or eight of these mirror boxes with the roses. And that's the reason why I did not use a lot of bling wraps. Even though I hauled it, but I did not use a lot of it when it came down to my flowers bases. This is another alternative look that I wanted. I want to bring the mirror in because I have so much mirror stuff. And I wish, which I think it would be even more elegant it's gonna start it off it's gonna be in the middle so just visualize this take just one moment with me down the middle here we have the tables so we have one table here then we have another table because i'm gonna have four long tables together and basically this what's gonna connect the two together that start off and then we will work our way down we will have flowers candelabra flower candelabra then we do the same thing for this side flower candelabra flower candelabra type deal like that so those are the other items that i made no i did not make this i did not make this i purchased this from home goods a while back so i found another way to incorporate it into my wedding which saved me money for buying other items and inside i decided to just place some candles in there like that i don't know if i'm still going to use a brooch one like that that i got from totally dazzle or what or just plain candles inside i'm not sure just yet um but if i do the brooch it's going to have some navy blue ribbon around i still don't know about that yet so i'm just trying to give you guys an idea of how the wedding party table is going to be set up so it's going to be four tables but we're going to have this directly starting off then on the opposite end of each one gonna have the red roses then gonna have a candelabra then you know red rose candelabra red rose like that so that's how that's gonna be set up but the tables is gonna be a navy blue with sequence runner down the middle uh gold sequence runner so i'm just trying to give you guys a little idea of how just in case i'm not able to getting the one to get these steps all in as we go but yes and i think i'm gonna try to vlog some for the wedding so move on to number two, three okay next up is my wedding bouquet yes it is humongous is it huge it's extra it's val it's valerie it's val foxy lady whatever val foxy lady reynolds p it's me all day all day i love it i love it it's so extra like extra <laughs> but yes yeah, so i did show you guys a diy bride bouquet that i did before which was my also my bouquet but i decided to go bigger or just stay home like i want my bouquet to be a statement piece i want my bouquet to be a showstopper i want my bouquet to be talked about for a long time be like now she just did too much with that bouquet yes i did oh well yes but anyway so all i did this is i think a 10 inch round ball these are dollar tree roses that i was telling you guys about that i purchased off dollartree.com um a lot of the um bling that's in here is from totally dazzle because i that's what i did the bouquet from before which was with featuring sponsored by totally dazzle the other part of this is just jewelry broken jewelry jewelry that i broke those little applicators I, I don't know if i'm saying those things right or whatever but i think i'm going to take this one off and put another kind on there i'm going to use that for my headpiece but let me show you guys so this is how extra my bouquet is I still don't have enough bling because you see spaces here without bling. I want bling to be all the way around it. Sorry, you guys, it's so close. But so yeah, so what I did use um a, I think it was a 10-inch round styrofoam ball, and I just start to go in the pattern of from one side to the other, I started just going one line across with the roses. Just start from one side and work my way to the other. And then I went and started to fill in from there. 
like okay i have a line here then i will go in between like alternate off like a v shape or whatever and just filled it in it filled and kept filling it in and filling it until i got the desired look that i want i did not use none of the sticks or nothing like that so i did just the the rose itself in the love it's just the rose itself it's no sticks or nothing in it and i i poke a hole with the rose where i want it to be and then i place some glue and i'll put the rose back into that where the glue so therefore it can stay so i don't have to worry about it coming apart falling apart or nothing like that as i'm walking down the aisle which would not be cute at all which would not be cute at all but for the base of here um i want to say this is um a paper towel roll so i use the paper towel roll and glued it down in there like that see and i wrapped around with some bling wrap now the jewels and everything that you see here that's hanging off here goes some of those look <laughs> oh it's so big y'all it's so big so the jewels that you see hanging off here is some of that bling rope that i ordered from z about to say z gallery lord have mercy that i ordered from Amazon that bling rope that I'll show you guys I wrapped around that I use for the candles or whatever Then here is some crystal garland that I have on here and then here is a Necklace, which is the jewelry that the bridesmaids would have They would have this necklace here. So I use one of the necklaces because I ordered so many of them um, because I had another ideal in mind to use for them or whatever, but it didn't work out So I still have a little few of them left but yeah so that's so that's why it hangs like this so it hangs like this so when you see you will see that because my hand would be around it so i know it's extra but yeah so that's that then now for the bling itself Okay, these are totally dazzled, which this is a DIY though. This was the um, slide on brooch, the buckle or whatever, where you can basically slide the rivet in between it. But I just placed a jewel there, glue the jewel there, and you can see that it have a stick. Those are like the little shish kebab sticks, the little spores, like small, like the large size of two picks or whatever. That's what it is. Here is a part of the necklace that I broke one of the necklaces and I glued some of the jewels on there. Here is totally dazzled, totally dazzled, totally dazzled, totally dazzled. But yeah, that is it for my bouquet though. I know it's extra. I know it's very large. I would say this bouquet is bigger than the rose, the rose balls that I showed you guys, which is, I think those was 10 inch round, like I said, but I think it's like 12 or 13. It's just that huge like yes gorgeous i mean i'm i love it i really do love it i always wanted an over the top type um bouquet so therefore i just made me an over type over the top type bouquet just extra like that because if i'd have charged or so i'd have paid someone to do this how much you think they would have charged me for this? like i was saying if i'd have paid someone to do this how much do you think they would have charged me it had been over the top like because we know they all expensive and everything so it was worth it because some of the stuff i didn't pay for some of the stuff were free um or whatever so yeah thanks to totally dazzle i appreciate you guys definitely but yeah so this is my little extra bouquet extra bouquet like so extra look at my bling just look at my bling bling but yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. So up next are the bridal party flowers. Um, let's start with this. This is the Maid of Honor song. Um, I wanted hers to be different because I did not purchase. Her dress is not different from the um, bridal party. Um, I'm going to add a little more bling with her. So now here is the items that I used, which I purchased these things here offline. The gold bouquet holders i purchased those offline and i did put her a little bow there and put a little bling which i showed you guys those i purchased from amazon as well and these are dollar tree flowers in there 
Now the little jewels that you do see in there, I purchased those a while back when I first got engaged. I'm not sure where I actually purchased those from. So yeah, um, hers different because like I said, she's the maid of honor. So that was the reason why I ended up did hers that way, which I think is cute and I wanted her to stand out just a tad little bit from the rest of the girls. Now here's the rest of the bridal party flowers, which I was telling you guys, I was gonna cut those flowers down that I got from Michael's and I cut it down some and I placed a cute little ribbon on there. So her ribbon, same thing as the maid of honors ribbon and put a little brooch there. Those little brooches that I got from Amazon. And so that's all the rest of the ladies will have these flowers here. So that's how I did that and look, they match just perfect with those flowers from the Dollar Tree, that dark red. So I think those are gonna be very, very cute with their dresses. So let's move on. Okay, here next, one of the other centerpieces. Um, this, this type of centerpiece here, I would place on the two long tables that I'm gonna have up front. Basically, it's the reserved tables for my parents and family, as in aunts and uncles like that, and my husband, um, parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents and stuff like that. I don't have any of my grandparents living, so yeah. But I did two of these. This is the reason why I said a couple of the ideas that I did for my wedding was like a repetitive type thing. You guys have seen me make this mirror box. Um, I think it was something like a show and tell or whatever, but it's the same thing that any YouTuber have done. If they use the tape method, if they use the glue gun method, hot glue, I mean, um, E6000 or whatever to build it up, you build it the same way, however long you want it to be. And I have four of the mirrors in the front as well as four on the back and one on each side of it. And I just got some Dollar Tree flowers there in Dollar Tree style phone inside that's holding it and I glued it all down. That is it. I did two of those so I would have two of those running around. So now you guys get to see more of the mirror effect starting to come and they're gonna spread out through the room. So yeah that is it for that one. A repetitive type thing. I didn't think I had to re do a show and tell. I meant um a video for you guys for that there. Next. Okay, so here's the next one here, which as you can tell, this is going to be the head table. And the only thing different about this and the other than the guest table and the bridal party table is the Mr. and Miss sign. That is it. And I got those letters from Michaels and all I did was use some tacky glue to actually put the letters on, to put the glue on, I mean to say. But I use wooden glue to try to connect the letters together here, as you can see. And that's just an and sign. I put some tacky glue, spray painted them gold first, and then I put some tacky glue and put the glitter on there. Because the tacky glue holds the glue, the glitter a little better than the um Mosh Podge does. And I did the same thing for the wrist. That is it. That is it. And on each side, we're gonna have some candles. Um most like the candles that I hauled that I showed you guys from Didi's. Proper one on each side that you know sitting behind us because we're gonna sit up high so this won't be blocking too much of our view or nothing like that. We got our dinner plates and napkins and you know our drinks, our DIY glasses that I showed you guys, which I will show you guys that again or whatever for the ones who have missed it, who have missed out on that. I mean, say, <laughs> miss, yeah, do you guys get what I'm saying? But yeah, the ones who have missed out on that, but that is it. So this is part of the head table. Okay, next here I have this Beauty in the Beast sign that I made. All these items have came from Michaels. Michaels, yes. Um, how I made this, which is still not finished, you guys, because you can see the wood or whatever. I still got to put some tacky glue or Marge Podge or whatever down there. And you know sear that off because you can see some of the glitter is on top of the tv or whatever but yeah and i'm going to spray it with some um glitter spray um sealer or whatever but what i did was these two 
pieces here because it's actually two. These come, I think, two in a pack, if I'm not mistaken, from Michaels. These two long wood boards here come from Michaels, and I use some wood glue to glue them together. So once those was glued together, I use wood glue to stand these up as well. Now, if you put press too hard, it just may fall, may break. It have done. It really, um, it don't fail before because of Andre. It don't fail before because of him. But um, I think the only thing came off was the A and the T off of Beast. But, um, yeah, so like I was saying, with the letters, all I did was place some glue down to the bottom. And maybe you can see the glue. Yeah, you can see the glue there. And stand them up. Basically, I let the glue got a little tacky because as long as it was still wet, it wasn't going to do it. It wasn't going to stand up. You're going to be standing there holding it. So I waited for it to get a little tacky to do that and once it dried all up I did place some um paper no not paper what it is some tape like to connect the tops here because those what was, was giving me the problem these as connecting those together or whatever so once they dried up I removed the tape and stuff and that's when I start to um spread some um tacky glue as well as Mod Podge. Now here I use Mod Podge because you can see where still I got to go back and fill that in which I'm going to do that probably after this video. But I did the same thing for the end sign. Um, once I placed the glue down I did this but I did these before I actually glued the whole thing down I glued all this together. The end and the duh together. Because at first I was like how am I going to do this? How am I going to do it? So I just thought thought about just stacking them up together on top of each other. And once they became all glued together and then stuck together, then that's when I just placed the glue down here on the bottom of each of the letters. And so therefore it could stand up as one. Because if I try to do it like I did with these each letter, it was falling apart. It was getting very frustrating. I was getting frustrated at to the top to the most. But here I use the um, tacky glue. You can see that the tacky glue filled up more better than it did with the Mod Podge. So I have to go back. Also use Mod Podge on this area too. So, but that's what I'm going to do um, after I finish this video. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that all in because I want everything all glitter up. And most likely, I'm going to where I'm going to place these at at the wedding. Well, I'm going to place this at it's probably the dessert table or the book signing table something like that maybe the bridal table I don't know I have to see once I get there I'm not sure at this moment so yeah that's Beauty and the Beast